Paranaque City. What a difference! Paranaque City used to be known for its garbage-strewn streets, its unkept city hall, and its slow development. Under the broken windows of fury, if a window is broken and left unrepaired, people walking by will conclude that no one cares and no one is in charge. Paranaque City used to have so many broken windows. Paranaque used to have many areas that needed improvement. It was widely acknowledged as a dirty, backward, and neglected city. With the battle cry, Bangon Paranaque, a citywide change has begun. With this thrust in mind, to make Paranaque a clean and beautiful city. To make Paranaque a safe, orderly, and peaceful city. To improve the general health of our residents. To enhance economic prosperity. To promote social justice. To cultivate true pride in Paranaque. Mayor June Bernabe is the first mayor of the city in more than 12 years who has actually born and raised in Paranaque. His many projects and activities are conceived and implemented to cultivate genuine pride in Paranaque among our residents and business owners. In less than three months, formerly garbage-strewn sidewalks are now regularly cleaned and well-maintained. More streets are now litter-free. Police mobility has been enhanced with new vehicles and better equipment. Barangays have greatly enhanced medical emergency response capabilities and waste disposal capabilities with new ambulances and new garbage trucks for each of the 16 barangays. Palanag Cemetery, the city's only public cemetery, was used as an illegal open dump site for nine years, posing serious environmental and health sanitation risk to residents. Tons of garbage were cleared and the Palanyag Cemetery is set for redevelopment as a cemetery park. Sukat Road or Dr. A. Santos Avenue is the main artery of the city, cutting from the west end to the east end of the city. Sukat Road today no longer harbors piles of garbage. Mini parks and decorative plants now dot the stretch. Sukat Road ends at South Luzon Expressway or SLEX. And where these two major roads meet wide, safe sidewalks can now be used. Center Islands are now home to colorful plants. Street and footpath illumination have been integrated into the design. Major roads are now undergoing sidewalk redevelopment. In addition, pedestrian fences help separate pedestrian traffic from vehicular traffic, minimizing pedestrian and vehicle contact and maintaining order at busy intersections. More than 4,000 new streetlights have been built in less than two years. Streetlights enhance both vehicle and pedestrian safety. Paranaque City Hall used to be an unkept and neglected edifice, unfit as the center of the city. Today, Paranaque City Hall has been renovated to be more functional and efficient. Our City Hall is now more welcoming of residents and guests. A new taxpayer's lounge has been built for the convenience of residents and business owners. A clean, air-conditioned and secure area awaits city taxpayers every day. The new assessor's lounge, likewise, provides a comfortable area for landowners and residents. All revenue-generating departments are now networked and fully computerized, greatly enhancing collection efficiency, record-keeping, and tracking. A new biometric hand-punch system is the first in use in Metro Manila. The biometric hand-punch system has drastically reduced payroll fraud and minimized delays in payroll preparations. Three new school buildings have been built to address the classroom shortage. Students no longer have to travel to adjacent cities to study. More youth activities have encouraged youth to be more active in their communities. Youth activities also help fight drug abuse and truancy. All this is done with the goal of cultivating genuine pride in Paranaque. 
Project helps health, environment, education, livelihood, population, peace and order, social services, sports. The city of Paranaque is now progressive and continues to be home to tens of thousands middle class and affluent citizens. Pride in Paranaque.